Hello antique friends and welcome to my antique channel. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been a very hectic and busy year for us and our family, but I do have a number of pieces here that I just found recently and I would like to share them with you. So I hope you enjoy this video that I'm doing. First of all, I'll start here in the front because these are laying here and I can get them out of the way. I found these two very nice, probably 19th century and maybe even earlier. These are hand forged meat cleavers, I guess. Um, there's a name on this larger one here and I think it's either herring or marine. Can't really make it out entirely. It's got the nice looped handle there. Wonderful old primitive piece. And then the, the smaller one is unmarked. Has the nice rat tail handle there. Just old utilitarian pieces that have, like I said, made by a um, blacksmith. Okay, some of the smaller items here. I found this cute little wood shoe mold. This is before a baby shoe, and you can see it's got the blunt end toe there. This will look really good when it's all polished up. And a nice little piece to uh, display. Found a a buggy blanket uh, type of large safety pin. I have sewn a number of those. Uh, some of the other smaller items here. An old lock with the key, a Yale lock. I'm sorry for the moving of the camera because I have to go back and forth here a little. A couple of old shaving brushes. I sell a lot of shaving uh, collectibles and so this one is a lot larger there the red and cream colored one and the smaller black one and then this nice iron stone thick chunky shaving mug in the back here bring this out to the front this is a nice flat antique picture frame no glass. I may have to add glasses. It's a type of frame that really works well with old documents or pictures and even textiles if you wanted to um, get a small sampler or something like that. So I'm happy to find that piece. On top of this box here, I have some early books. Now these are, they say Dickens Works. These do not have a copyright date in them, but they do have the raised edges here along the spine and the pretty marbled um, covers with the leather corner tips. You can see the inside. It's in, it, it, they are complete. Um, two of those really nice early books. Probably the earlier part of the 19th century. And here is another one that's just a very similar, but it does have a little bit of the Dickens works and this going from the spine, but still very early old book. Make great display pieces with your antiques. Those were really early ones. Um, also, a few other books that I found. Here is an early Bible. It has a lot of wear and it has the flap protective edge there. Nice early one. This is um, a hymn book, Beginners and Primary Songs. This one has a copyright date, I believe, of 1915. The song books are really uh, popular. I sell a lot of those. And then this is 
English exercises, an early book, and this is probably from the 19th century. Yes, 1840. Not an early book there. Okay, going to the right of the box now. Found this box of sewing machine attachments. This is loaded with these early attachments, new home attachments. As you can see, I'm not sure what they all are, obviously. They're just loaded in there. But um, I sell these whenever I can get my hands on. A lot of people um, buy those probably for a variety of reasons. If they have an old sewing machine and so forth. Here's an old wood spoon. Great patina on this one. It's just got such, it's so smooth and nice. And then an old meat fork. And I believe this one has a, it's dated, a uh, patent date there. I think it's of the 1930s, if, I, if I'm remembering that correctly. This I found this great. Got the spout. This is a pottery master ink bottle. It's what these call with the high gloss glaze here. Very nice early piece. I sell a lot of ink bottles. I've never had one this large. So that's got kind of a almost like a Bennington style glaze, not exactly. And then so a lot of cheese boxes, and this is a craft Swiss cheese box. I just picked up this little um, old uh, garden cultivator. So a lot of old tools. Okay, I'm going to do this large box that's been sitting here all along. This is a great old box. It's a nice size. It's got a lot of wares, you can see. So it's got a... Uh, real primitive appeal to it. It does have a hinged lid. It's got some old spools down in there, haven't taken out. And it's got a mustard colored paint on it or wash on it. Uh, it does have some print here on the front which I can't really make out because of the paint. But you can see on the side here that it is indeed an explosives box. Great old box, make a lot of, do a lot with that, with that early paint. And then finally, a large platter here. This platter is um, got the embossed edging. It's not cleaned up, so it will be. All those uh, pot marks and things, a lot of that will be gone. And it does have an early mark on the back, and I'm forgetting what it is. This is hard to do with one hand, but let's see if I can get around here a little bit for you. Waterloo Potteries, and then there's also an impressed mark there. So I'm going to set that down before I have a complete accident. So those are the things that I recently found, and I hope you enjoy this video. Please, um, you're invited to visit my antique booth that's located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. You'll find my booth on the left side, third row. Just look for the large vintage touch sign that hangs in the back. And then, of course, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I've got a variety of different types of antique videos. And encourage you in your collecting of antiques and in your enjoyment of them. Because, of course, when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.